Hello, Sagittarius. <laughs> Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel and Val 53 Tarot Picture Review as well. Thank you. What are they giggling and cracking up about? <laughs> Everything. Everything. All right, let's see what's going on. Excuse me. And there you are, Sagittarius. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. There will be signs, Sagittarius. There will be signs. Goodness, goodness. All right, goodness. That is not much wiggle room there, huh? Not much wiggle room. Um, jumping into this, what you do show me. You're, how do I say this? <clears throat> there is something that you've kind of reached your limit with, emotionally speaking, and I don't exactly know what that is. Um, but what you do show me is like you've, you've completely checked out and you are just hoping to be absolutely done with something. In a sense, you're kind of saying, I just, I'm just kind of hoping and praying here to be in the clear. I just want to kind of enjoy myself. Um, I don't know exactly what that is. You show me that you're out of the woods, you're in the clear, everything's moving forward in a much better and positive direction, but this positivity, um, you're kind of giving me this energy of the, the party doesn't last long. The good life, the party life, it doesn't last long. That's why I was kind of talking about the signs. There will be signs, Sagittarius, as to something's ending. Um, ooh, spooky and eerie. Something is ending. I don't exactly know what that is. Um, but even you're kind of showing me that what comes next through this transitional period that you are going to experience or are experiencing, you're, this is where it almost kind of feels like something isn't closing in on you. And that's what's very fascinating. It feels like um, it goes from a shift from, okay, you have the options and possibilities to all of a sudden now you're kind of like, wait a minute, um, I'm beginning to feel a little bit cornered and now all of a sudden, great, I'm completely surrounded. I don't know what that's about. Um, but you show me this energy of responsibility. It's almost like maybe your responsibility is pine up, piling up. I don't know. Um, You're kind of showing me it's like you're feeling enclosed. <laughs> oh, geez. You're feeling enclosed and you're looking for an out. You're looking for an exit. You're looking for a strategy as to what could be done. Yeah. You're... you're <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, grab the torch and we'll sneak out at night. That's what you're kind of showing me. Is this like some sort of game of Survivor or something? Literally, look it. Grab your torch and we'll sneak out at night. It's like, be, it's like, be careful though, because you don't know if there's a mob around the corner either. Like, what is this, Sagittarius? This is weird. This is a little weird energy today.
it seems like there is yeah there's, there's definitely some sort of communication taking place between you and someone about whatever this is um I kind of, how do I say this? I feel like in one sense that, that the drive, the fire that you feel to kind of use to get yourself out of this little bind, um, you're in a sense wanting to follow your passion. Yeah, your drive. But at the same time, it's like that same, how do I say this? Um, it's like the equivalent of turning fire into water. It's like alchemy. And that's the difficulty. It's kind of like saying um, if something is purely passion, drive, lust, how to turn that actually into love? Is it actually possible? Um, or is it just, it is what it is? I don't know yet, but you're kind of showing me that something isn't quite aligning with what you feel deep down. Yeah, like I said, there's the tower. You're, you're showing me something's not aligning with what you feel. Um, And then back, yeah, goodness gracious, and then back out into the dark. Literally back out of the darkness. Um, wow, just like that. Okay, you show me what you're after. You show me what you're after. What is this? It's like a movie or something. This is so weird. It's like a movie or something. You're kind of saying like, look at all, the, it's like you're looking back and saying, look at all the commotions that it, it has caused. But then you're realizing like, okay, time to like literally time to find out where this will lead me. And I gotta stay focused on what I gotta stay focused on. You're kind of saying like, get in the car, grab the money, let's go. <laughs> this is so weird. And even you're kind of like, well, great. Um, you're thinking about yourself though. I mean, it's just an energy of kind of like thinking by your, you know, thinking then there's someone else though showing up. Um, you're thinking about yourself, which I kind of feel like, is that a guilty conscience or what? Because there's that connection there between you and someone, but runner, runner. Yeah, that's what I thought. Are they meant to be with you or are they not? Are, you, are they going to, are they gonna jump in the car with you or are they gonna stay? Or are you gonna just drive on by? Ooh, there's the devil. Oh. So what you're saying is you're bound to them. So you can't leave them behind. What is that? I don't know what that is. Um, what you're kind of saying is loyalty. You're saying loyalty. It's interesting though, because a, a second ago you questioned it. You questioned it. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with an earth sign, an air sign, a water sign, or a fire sign. They're all here. 